Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see module 5 questions in the model question paper of introduction to electronics engineering subject. So module 5 contains analog communication schemes and digital modulation schemes. This module is completely on the communication part. So let us get into the questions in the question paper. First question, write a note on different types of modulations and briefly describe each in detail. So in this question, what is the expectation is that we need to write the note on different types of modulations first. So before writing that, write the definition of the modulation. It is a process of which any one of the parameters like amplitude, frequency or phase of high frequency carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the low frequency message signal or modulating signal and keeping other parameters constant. This definition carries one marks. Later you can write the different types of modulation schemes. If you come to the analog part, analog modulation, frequency modulation and amplitude modulation, frequency modulation and phase modulation. If you come to the digital part, amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying and phase shift keying. This is the answer for half of the question. Then briefly describe each in detail they have asked. Here the modulation is that by taking the low frequency component and adding with the high frequency component carrier. So if it is amplitude modulation, this is how the modulated signal will be. If it is the frequency modulation, this is the output signal is. If the phase modulation, this is the output is. Like this you can explain any of a single modulation scheme like amplitude modulation or you can also explain amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying or phase shift keying. This carries 8 marks. Then brief about modern communication system with its block diagram. This question is very important repeatedly asked in the exams. This is the block diagram of any communication system. There is an information source here. Here is the destination. In between we will be having a channel. This channel can be a wire if it is a wired communication. Otherwise it will be a wireless media like here. So while transmitting in this channel noise may be added up. So noise is given here and coming to the transmitter side here is the transducer input transducer it will convert that to the message signal here is the physical quantity that will be converted in input transducer to the electrical quantity signals that will be given to the transmitter this will do some modifications and transmit the signal uh, actually modulation happens in transmitter and then to the channel then receiver output transducer final destination this need to be explained each and every blocks need to be explained briefly this carries 7 marks then question c list out the advantages of digital communication over analog communication here we need to list the advantages of digital communication and we need to list the disadvantage of analog communication if you see digital communication noise is very less immunity to noise is more and external interfaces interferences also less in digital communication and error correction and detection schemes can be implemented in digital communication. If any bit flip occurs, we can clear that and we can correct that. And digital communication advantage is that it, it provides added security to our information. Extra bits can be added for the security. And digital circuits are more reliable, easy to design and cheaper than analog circuits. Digital circuits are easy to design like the different digital circuits we have studied. And the hardware implementation of these circuits is also more flexible compared to analog circuits. And analog signal processing found much complex compared to the digital. These are the few differences or the advantages compared to analog communication. Here is for 5 marks you can list out 5 to 6 advantages. Then question number 10. Here we need to explain the concept of radio wave propagation with the need diagram and its different types. So first write what is radio waves, electromagnetic waves and their frequency ranges and then how they are going to travel. Like electromagnetic waves will be having magnetic fields, electric fields and uh, this is the traveling direction like that you need to explain. And then different types. You can see ground wave, surface wave and uh, space wave and also sky wave. This can be explained briefly like this with the giving those uh, parameters with respect to those waves. So this is about the different waves, radio waves 
And the next question is on consider the following binary data and sketch the ASK, FSK and PSK modulated waveforms. Here they have given the digital signal. For this signal, if we do the ASK, what is the output? FSK, what is the output? And PSK, what is the output? Here I have given ASK output will be, the carrier will be same here. Whenever it is zero, there is a zero signal. And again, a carrier wave will come over here when it is one. Similarly, FSK, when one is there, the frequency is more, here it is less like that. Similarly, PSK will change its phase. So you need to explain in brief here also what is ASK, FSK and PSK. This carries six marks. Then describe about radio signal transmission and multiple access technique. Here, radio signal transmission is wireless transmission. You need to explain. And later you need to explain multiple access techniques. So this is the brief uh, idea about or the explanation about radio signal transmission or wireless transmission. It will be having a modulator, analog transmitter and then you can also explain the QPSK modulation which adopted in the wireless transmission. Here you can see there is transmitted bits like this, there is a modulator. According to these values there will be a shift in the phase like this. So that is what QPSK is. And then coming to the second part of the question, multiple access techniques are three. FDMA, frequency division multiple access, time division multiple access, TDMA and CDMA, code division multiple access. This much we need to write for this particular question. So this is about module 5 and other module questions I have already discussed. You can see that. Thank you.